Secret number seven. This is literally my favorite molecule that I never want you to have, but right now 20 to 25% of you listening to this are carrying a genetic kind of cholesterol, some you have never heard of. Lipoprotein little a is the proper way to describe it. Lipoprotein A is the way other people describe it. Some people call it the sticky cholesterol. You can call it LPA, that's commonly used. This uh, title actually has a typo. It shouldn't be a capital A that I wrote in yellow, it should be a little a. I just couldn't convince my uh, PowerPoint to let me do that. And you'll notice I've written a book a year ago on this topic. It also has amazing recipes, but it's the only book in the world on what is considered the most common genetic reason to get heart disease that you may have never heard of. This is really a powerful secret. So what the heck is lipoprotein little a? Well, there's a picture of it right in the middle. Man, is it pretty. And in fact, some people say, I keep a baseball. I'm not much of a sports fan in my office because it's sort of like a baseball. You've got the LDL cholesterol molecule. That's that gold and red circle in the middle. It's got cholesterol, it's got some uh, triglycerides, but it's all wrapped in a protein called apolipoprotein B100 to make it water soluble. That would be LDL, but lipoprotein A is like LDL, but it's not LDL cholesterol. There's a little bridge, and then there's that wicked thing that says KIV, KIV, those are called Kringle units. And this is something made in the liver that looks like LDL cholesterol, but it's made in a completely different line. Maybe we're making the Cadillacs over here and we're making the Lincolns over here. It's a totally different production line. And this is a very bad molecule for some people. Why? Because it has components in it that even LDL doesn't have that drive inflammation, drive atherosclerosis, and cause your blood to clot excessively. There's a theory, there's not proof that some people that are clotting with the COVID-19 syndrome are clotting because they're carrying the lipoprotein A gene. And we haven't yet tested that hypothesis, but the world's leading academic expert on lipoprotein A has proposed that as a theory that is in the process of being tested. I mean, imagine how bad that is to have one molecule in your blood that causes inflammation, atherosclerosis, and clotting, because that's like the perfect storm of cardiovascular disease. Is this rare? Oh, it's not rare. The chance of having a moderately elevated lipoprotein A affects 1.4 billion people worldwide. It says here 73 million in North America, maybe 90 million by some other estimates, uh, 97 million in Latin America and around the world. It's a little more frequent in Asian and a little more frequent in African populations by a percentage. But about 20 to 25% of people from the moment of conception inherit one or two genes from their parents on chromosome six that allow their liver to make lipoprotein A and 75 to 80% of people do not have that gene on chromosome six and they won't make lipoprotein A. So this is wildly, wildly common. How big a factor? It's a little blurry, let me read it to you. One in 14 heart attacks, in one in seven cases of aortic stenosis and aortic valve disease are felt to be due predominantly to lipoprotein A cholesterol. Hugely, hugely a problem. One in five individuals have a high lipoprotein A and are at risk, it's highly heritable. It means if you have it, there's a good chance your children may have gotten it and your siblings. And finally, it's estimated screening and therapies or lipoprotein little a or LP little a, like it shows there, might prevent one in three heart attacks in one in two cases, 50% of cases of aortic stenosis. Exciting stuff. What's the action step? Ask your healthcare practitioner, can you please, on my next lab slip, draw a lipoprotein little a level? It's a blood test. It's inexpensive. It's got a code. E78.41 is an ICD-10 code, it's called. And... In 2019, the European Society of Cardiology said everybody should have this checked once. It's been available for decades, but it's finally coming to fruition. In the United States, not everybody says everybody should get checked once. I check everybody's once in my clinic, but that's my own philosophy. You need to know. But um, certainly if 
you've got brothers, sisters, grandparents, parents, aunts, uncles with heart disease, you may be at risk. If you're 38 and you had a stent, you need to get it checked. It's checked by less than 1% of physicians in the United States. So this is really exciting, the impact. Do we have a drug? We don't have a drug. Statins do not lower. Statins would be Lipitor, Crestor. They do not lower lipoprotein little a. And in fact, they unfortunately sometimes raise the production or they uh, uh, block the elimination of lipoprotein A. So we actually get more of it in the blood. Uh, companies like Novartis and Amgen are working on pharmacologic solutions we'll have by 2025. We're part of those research studies. And finally, a whole food plant-based diet may help lower all your risk, but it actually may help lower your lipoprotein A level along with hormone replacement therapy, certain supplements like L-carnitine, certain powders like amla powder. 